What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Hatter's Lounge. What's going on, everybody? So, I had a plan to do oppression on Huntress, and I still want to, just to kind of see if it works, because, you know, me and Huntress, that's my main gal. Um, but then I ran into this Swift, and I saw a map and a key, and I was like, you know what, Franklin's and Surge, uh, because I was like, do I want to get rid of Shadowborn, or do I want to get rid of Barbecue after I'm getting hooks, etc.? And I was like, I need some form of gen slowdown, because I just swapped my gen slowdown. So I decided, you know what, if I'm going to be m wanting i might as well just use surge so that way any gen any and all gens around 36 meters from me whenever i get this m1 hit so either way so long as i get an m1 i'm messing up their game plan and i'm slowing them down but any uh survivor that i down in a 36 meter i'm gonna get the surge value and it's gonna regress any and all generators so there are some times where you walk into a match and you're just like, you know what, man, I had this game plan and I just want to do this one thing. Like, I just want to have a chill game. And then you look at what the Swift is doing and being like, you know what, challenge accepted. So here's episode two of the challenge videos. Um, I left the offerings in here because I wanted to show you guys how sweaty they uh, were appearing to be. <laughs> and so, yeah. So here we go, y'all. Hope you enjoy. All right, so we got the family residence at the estate. This should be fun. All right, I got a decent spawn. So I'm in the corner by Kill Shack. That's perfect. So I know right where all the gens are. This kind of works. Um, they didn't spawn together. They spawned an extra key. They got Salty Lips and uh, Black Ward, so they're not losing their add-ons. But I'm still going to try to take it from them. So, alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. And first person the, was the person with the map. Alright, cool. That worked. That worked. For some odd reason, I, I, I don't... I, I could have swore somebody went back here, I thought. But, hey, whatever. Alright, I'm just going to delay... I don't really need to kick that gen, but I want that map to burn. The way Franklin's works is they drop it, and over a period of time, eventually... Uh, that item, uh, the entity starts to claim it, so... Wait, are they over there? Yeah, I hear healing. Hold that. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, you have a med kit. You have a med kit. Hold on, I need to know if there's any other gens that have been down in this area. Is Surge gonna pop here? And you don't have dead heart. That's good to know. Alright, cool. So no other gens in that area. I got no Surge value, but that is a med kit on the ground. So, they got a map down, but that was Steve that just healed, so I need to see if he's going to go back and get his map, and I have a real good feeling that he actually is. Yeah, he's already there. Hold that, hello. Unfor Man, I wish that Franklin's actually worked on, like, her hatchets, because that would just, like, as a survivor, that would just be horrible, but as the killer in me, I feel like I would just be so satisfying. The Huntress main in me is saying yes. The Nia main in me is like, dude, that's a bad idea. Don't give the devs ideas. Oh, hi. Wait. Hold up. That's that Kate. Hold on. Wait. Kate was the one with the key. Hello. Hold that. Okay, so this actually works perfect. I got a melee hatchet. And bam. Still no surge value. Are we not doing gens? Five gens, by the way, but are we not doing gens? And yeah, she was throwing a hatchet. Oh, okay. All right, so they pop that corner, Jen. And sit back down. And Stevie, my boy, with your map. Hey, hey, hey. Just um, hold that. I, it, mm, that oh, I don't know if he hit E or if I overshot that. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to let me know what that looked like. But I feels robbed, man. Feels robbed, man. Alright, and you're going right back up on the hook because you're my first slug. Well, actually, no, you're my second slug. Wait. Aw, oh, feels toxic, man. Wait, there's no DS. Oh, yeah, there's no DS. Let's go. I have no obsession. That just made this so easy. Alright, we're off to the races again. Is that Steve? No way. That can't be Steve. It can't be Steve. Oh, it's Dewey. Hi, Dwight. Hi, buddy. Hey. Hey. That's a nice med kit you got there. Alright, alright. Pretty throw the pallet on a Huntress. Feels weird. Feels weird. Feels weird. I'm out of hatchets. I can't commit to this chase. I need to back off. Yeah, I don't have enough hatchets to actually make that worthy. They're just gonna heal if I just commit to that down, so to hell with it. And that, ladies and... Excuse me. That, ladies and gents, is probably, like, the most, like... Like, 
important recognition thing that you could do as a killer is to know when you need to back off on a chase and in that situation it's just they already got the unhook so i just need to go immediately put pressure back on them and that the white can you know he'll catch these hands in a later time he'll catch these hatchets and wow. throwing up a prayer didn't hit mm, have to see this later all right there's a gen to my left getting worked on hello all right through the window oh hi hey Man, my man's can duck. My man's can duck. He's a gamer. And yeah, I, I, all right, no, no pallet, no pallet. Drop the med kit. It was pretty. I hope you got value out of it. But it's gone. And dude's good. All right, you can dodge. You can dodge, my guy. But I can also aim. Like <laughs> so. <laughs> GG's. All right, Dwight. There we go. Sit down. All right. First up for Dwight. Sounds good. Pallets are down, which works out in my favor. But I'm out of hatchets. This kind of doesn't work. So I really can't defend this hook at all. Where did that pallet go? And I'm pretty sure I actually just like walked by it and didn't even notice it. Is anybody on this gen? No. Okay. All right. I need hatchets. Hatchets to the locker. They would. All right. So. Second gen's done. I got one person on their death hook. And I think everybody but Steve is on second hook now. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, I actually can throw hatchets? All right, cool. Must just be the Dwight. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, put the key back down. Put the key back down down all right we actually got some surge value on this too that's awesome okay so i want to hook her far away like i know like this kind of is like the play to do if you have barbecue and chili but i want to get her the hell away from that key and i know that franklin's needs time to work to burn out items and i don't even see it on the ground so hopefully it's gone and we did get some surge value actually out of hitting her too so yep there's surge and are we back? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. All right, Dwight. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sometimes all it takes is one hatchet. Nope. 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 All right. That works too. Bad positioning. Sorry, brother. Bad positioning. Feels bad, man. All right, Dwight. I'm just going to let you bleed because I see Steve and her both going. I see him going. And I fell short. I should have, I think I should have, like, either aimed up just a little bit higher on that hatchet, or I could have possibly, like, maybe if I'd have, like, cooked it just a second longer, it would have had enough oomph to, like, clear that stairwell. But either way, unfortunate. All right. Uh, you're running and running, 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 running. I hit something. Tossing up a prayer. Tossing up a prayer. Victory is mine. And nope, nope, nope. Okay, victory is mine. But I hear somebody. Hello, hello. Oh, ah, yo, HyperX headphones. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Gotta absolutely love them. That's unfortunate, man. She was moving in those bushes. I didn't know where she was. I could hear her grunting, but I didn't know where she was. As soon as she moved, I was like, oh, there you are. Sonar. Bam. All right. So she's on her second hook. Which is back to back. Feels bad. Like if they had DS, I feel like this game could have totally gone in a different way. And I gotta like get in the habit of not back to back hooking somebody. But like, yeah, it happens. It does happen sometimes. Sometimes. Like I hate to say the tunneling is like an effective strategy, but like it is. But like, I don't know. There's sometimes where, like, legitimately, dude, you just lose track of, like, who's been hooked and where they've been hooked and who was last unhooked. And, you know, there was a lot of hooks in that sentence. Oh, you popped up at the wrong time, my guy. I think you just kind of called it quits on that loop. Like, sometimes all it takes is, like, just getting that hit on that, just getting that one hatchet hit on a survivor that at first was really confident against you as a huntress really can, like, change the tone of the game and how they loop and the mind games and there's somebody right there hello hi <laughs> you gotta love it when they do that 360 seriously you gotta absolutely love it when they do that like that somersault like all right i think you're dead oh yeah she did 
She dead! Alright, so one in there, and he is... So Dwight's dead on hook next time I hook him. And Entity's doing his work, man. Just keep spamming that space bar, Dwight. You're doing good. Alright, um, no. Okay, so it was at this moment that I realized that the two survivors that I don't have dead or on the hook right now are the ones that brought in the map and the ones that brought in the keys so that's why i checked because i wanted to remind myself what offerings they brought in case they put hatch at a specific uh place because right now hatch would uh pretty much be spawning if they let the white die and it looks like they might unless they're about to get him like right now but yeah, that the white should be dead is the wheat dead are you dead bro that bar was empty Wow, that timing. And I've had Whispers proc this entire time. Like, Whispers, what are you doing, man? You're made of lies. You're not helping me right now. You're just, like, in my ear. Like, dude, why? You know, like, help me. Motherfucker. There's sometimes, seriously, where, like, you get ghost whispers, where, like, it tells you people are there, but, like, they're not there. But that's okay, because we're here. Oh, hi, Kate. Do you have your key again? Do you have a key again? Well... Hopefully, the, you know what, you just keep picking up that damn key, and you keep going back for it, and I know that I literally just, like, I mean, Dwight, Dwight was on the hook, like, this isn't, this isn't too campy, is it? Feels bad, man, feels bad, she had no idea, I don't know, I think she was expecting me to, like, look the other way or something, I don't know, either way, uh, Kate, you're at the game, thank you for playing, it's been fun, it's been real. It's been real fun. But you gotta die. You gotta go. Bye. Alright. Um, so, so far... Alright, so that's the person that brought in the key. Uh, so it's Dwight and the guy that had the map. Gotcha. So it's Dwight and Steve left. Oh, hi, Dwight. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. And I wish I was running Babushka at that moment right there. Because I totally could have actually hit that. But whatever. Sometimes you hit him, sometimes you don't. And, okay, alright, you're just gonna hide there. When did you get a flashlight, dude? I mean, GG's, congrats. Like, you got me in a stuck animation. Cool, cool, congrats, congrats. Alright, hold on. I wanna, like, put you in a good spot before I start throwing hatchets at your ass. But, like, I also wanna take that... Wait. Somebody just did a totem. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, hi! Yo! Steve, what's good, my guy? How you, man? And again, I wish I was running a different add-on because I could have got that hatchet, but whatever. Anyway, hi, Stevie. Stevie, uh, yo, what? Uh, Steve, Steve. I know you haven't seen me in a bit, but it's like Steve. Oh, Dwight, no, no, homie, you out of range. You are definitely out. No, you are definitely out of range for that. I'm sorry, sir. You're not getting this save. All right, and that is my closest hook. I feel like it probably wasn't, but, like, I misplayed it. Wow, this is a long, long journey. Holy hell, how did I... Damn! Dude, I was so worried that, like, that that head shake at Dwight and letting him know, like, nah, bruh, nah. Like, I was so worried that that actually was going to backfire on me. All right, so Dwight was right there. Did you cut over? No, no. All right, well, whatever. I need to reload anyway. All right, so... I think the only item that they have left is that flashlight, unless Steve had the map and they swapped when I hit him. Unless Steve re-picked up the map, but I think at this point he probably burned it. But, I mean, yo, three gen still, so maybe. Who knows? Either way, alright, so there's nowhere else that they could have gone but back here. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, hi! Hey, Dwight! Hey, Dwight! Wait, wait, can I throw over that? Yeah, there is. Alright, so there's the gap right there. Cool. Awesome. Sweet, there's my lot. I need to work on that. Alright, Dwight, I hope you enjoyed that flashlight play that you got, dude. Because, like, bye. And no, because I figured you out. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, homie. As much as you were trying to figure out how I threw my hatchets and see if I was predictable, you got a little predictable yourself. GG's, man. Well played, Dwight. Bye! That's what you get for shining a damn flashlight in my face, you bastard. <laughs> Alright, so... The hunt for Steve begins, and I don't have Whispers. Alright, so first, Whispers, you wanted to proc there in the entire damn map, but now you don't want to proc at all. Alright, uh, all right, I'm getting no help whatsoever, so I just gotta find Hatch. Oh, hi! Hey, speaking of Hatch, 
There it is. And boom, Stevie boy! You just healed. Where are you? Stevie, are you over by Shaq, dude? Yeah. Yeah, I see you. Hi, man. What's good, Steve? How you doing, homie? I really like the shades, though. I do gotta say, I really dig that survivor's outfit. I really do. Why did I M1 twice? I just didn't trust him to run in case I started to throw a hatchet. Oh, damn, there's no hook. But he ain't struggling anyway, so hey, there we go. So, map, key, medkit, flashlight. Two medkits, actually, that we burned, I believe. Or it might have been the same one, but either way, pretty much one of each item short of a damn toolbox. Thank you, Franklins. Thank you, Surge. We kept three gens still going. Woo! Had it in the Huntress Challenge, Episode 2. We accepted what the Swift had, and we got it done. All right, so that's a four-piece, and feels good, man. Feels good. That was definitely a lot of fun. You know, GG's to them all day. So thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching the video. I appreciate it. If you like the content, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe for more. I'm trying to do more than uh, just two random uploads a week. I'm trying to put in a little bit more time on the YouTube and do some more edits and stuff like that. So... All the support is really, really, really appreciated. So, yeah, look at this. He had a rainbow map with a crystal bead and the retardant jelly, so his map lasted longer. And they had a skeleton key with a rope that adds another 10 seconds onto the charge and then just, like, a standard med kit. So, thank you very much, Franklins. And, yeah, so the M1 Huntress lives on, y'all. I um, think I'm, like, creating a new scene. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Later, y'all.